Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Yesterday we learned what are known as divisibility rule. Divisibility rules tell us whether or not a given number is divisible by the number that we see at the bottom. We learned the divisibility rules yesterday for 2, 3, 4 and 5. The exercise that we're going to do today is going to reinforce what we learned yesterday about the divisibility rule for 3. How do we know if a number is divisible by 3? A number, a number, and this comes in quite handy when you're trying to figure out if a given number is a prime number or not. You must divide it by 3. You must always check to see if it's divisible by 3 before you do anything at all. If it's not an even number, obviously then nobody's going to give you an even number and ask you whether or not it's a prime number. It will be silly. The only even prime number is 2. So you're not going to encounter an even number and, uh, and be asked whether or not it's prime. So before you do any work at all, before you worry about any other numbers, always ask yourself if the given number is divisible by 3 in order to determine whether or not it's a prime number. If the answer is no, then you go on to the others. Do you understand? How do we know if a number is divisible by 3? A number, a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. We learned it yesterday. Here we have a question. The question is, is 1-800-808-PREP, which happens to be my phone number, is that divisible by 3? 1-800-808-PREP translates into 7737. So let's find out, shall we? 1-800-808. 7737. Now, yesterday we learned divisibility rule. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yesterday we learned divisibility rule, and two days ago, two days ago, we learned our millions, billions, and trillions. Millions, billions, and trillions. Let's, let's see on day number 21, is number, day number 22. On day number 22, we learn millions, billions, and trillions. Let's see what this number translates into, shall we? So, here we have 3, 1, 2, 3, here we have another 3, 1, 2, 3, there we go. So, this translates into something like this. And now, we'll worry about what that number actually is. That number is 18 billion, 8 million, 87,000. 737. So if somebody were to come up to you and ask you, is 18 billion, 8 million, 87,737 divisible by 3? To which you will say, well, let me find out by taking the sum of the digits. Now, as we learned yesterday, as we learned yesterday, this is the theory. The theory dictates that we actually figure out the sum of all the digits. But in practice, but in practice, we can take a lot of shortcuts. We don't have to do the sum of all the digits. We can take bits and pieces. For example, for example, for example here, oh, there we go. We start out with 1 and 8. 1 plus 8 is 9. So these two digits play no role because they add up to 9 and 9 is divisible by 3. Oh, I see 8 and a 7. 8 plus 7 is 15. So those two digits are not going to play any role. Oh, I see another 8. I see another 8 and another 7. 8 plus 7 is 15 again. So those two digits are not going to play any role. Let's continue. Oh, I see a 3. Of course, 3 is divisible by 3. 3 is divisible by 3. So that 3 actually plays no role. All we are left, all we left here is 7. Only thing that we are left here is 7. Therefore, is 1-800-808-PREP divisible by 3? The answer is no. It's not divisible by 3. We have a 7 at the end. In other words, if you were to try to divide this number by, by 3, if you were to try to divide 18 billion, 8 million, 87,737 by 3, we'll find that we'll have a remainder of 1. 
because 7 divided by 3 has a remainder of 1. At the end we have 7, it will have a remainder of 1. Let's divide it by 3, shall we? We can actually divide it by 3. Now that we know it's not divisible, we will have a remainder of 1. Let's divide it and see what happens. Okay, let's see how to divide it. How do we divide a large number like that without actually doing the long division? Without actually doing the long division. Well, let's find out. 18 billion, 8 million, 87,000, 737. Let's begin the process, shall we? We're going to divide by 3. How many 3's does 1 have? 1 has no 3's. That one goes and joins the 8, becomes 18. How many 3's does 18 have? 18 has 6 3's. 6 3's are 18. How many 3's does 0 have? 0 has no 3. How many 3's does 0 have? 0 has no 3. How many 3's does 8 have? 8 has two threes. This is where you have to slow down because you're going to start carrying stuff. Eight has two threes, two threes are six. The remaining two goes and joins the zero. One more time. The remaining two goes and joins the zero becomes twenty. How many threes does twenty have? Twenty has six threes. Six threes are eighteen. Six threes are eighteen. The remaining two goes and joins the eight becomes twenty-eight. How many threes does twenty-eight have? Twenty-eight has 9 threes. 9 threes are 27. 9 threes are 27. The remaining one goes and choice the 7 becomes 17. How many threes does 17 have? 17 has 17 has 5 threes. 5 threes are 15. 5 threes are 15. The remaining two goes and choice the 7 becomes 27. 27 has 9 threes. How many threes does 3 have? 3 has 1 three. How many threes does 7 have? 7 has 2 threes. 2 threes are 6. We will have a remainder of 1, which is being divided by 3. So the final answer is 6 million, 6 billion rather, 6 billion, 2 million, 695,912 and one third. 6 billion, 2 million, 695,000. 912 and one third. If we were to multiply that, if we were to multiply this number by 3, you will see that we'll get back the number that we had, which was 18 billion, 8 million, 87,737. You, you might find this thing silly, but this is how you sharpen your skill. This is how you sharpen your skill. This is how you develop an intuitive understanding of what, of, of what numbers are. Don't depend on the calculator. Calculator is a tool. It's not a crutches. Do you understand? People don't understand that concept. It's not meant to be crutches. It's a tool. Just because you use calculator doesn't mean that you lose the intuitive understanding, uh, the intimate, intimate uh, grasp of the line, of, of the numbers. Anyway, let's continue. Two threes are six. Three ones are three. Nine, seven, nine threes are twenty-seven. Carry two. 3 5 is a 15 plus 2 is 17, carry 1, 9 3 is a 27 plus 1 is 28, carry 2, 9, 6 3 is a 18, 18 plus 2 is 20, 0, carry 2, 6 2 is a 8, 2 3 is a 6 plus 2 is 8, eight ti 3 times 0 is 0, 0, and then 6 3 is a 18. We get 18 billion, we get our 18 billion. 8 million 87,736 we had 737 that's because we have to multiply one third times three so this is six plus one third times three one third plus one third one third times three is one so it's six plus one the unit digit becomes seven voila so you end up with one eight hundred 808 P R E P P R E P which is what the 7 is and if you did not know what this thing is called all along in the entire exercise this is what is known as shameless plugging plugging in plugging I think it's called do you understand there we go what are we going to do with it what do we learn out of it oh what we learn out of it is a very important lesson what we learn out of it is that it's quite safe it is quite safe to approach a girl in the bar and tell her, did you know 
that 18 billion, 8 million, 87,737 is not divisible by 3. And if you were to try it, you'll have a remainder of 1. You'll be very impressed. Bye now.